you know, surgeries for pretty much everything has come forward in leaps and bounds in the last uh, decade, especially when it comes to robotic surgery. And today we are talking to Dr. Eric Graham, who is with Bienville Orthopedic here at Cedar Lake. How are you, sir? Doing well. Now, uh, give us a little background about yourself, if you would, sir. Well, I was born here on the mid. Sorry, I was born in Jackson, but I've lived my entire life on the Gulf Coast. I actually graduated from Ocean Springs High School. Then I went off to school at Emory and did my residency in orthopedics at Washington University in St. Louis. And then I did a fellowship in spinal surgery. And I returned home and have been here ever since. Spinal surgeries, I mean, used to whenever someone would injure their back really bad, I mean, it was, it was almost like you couldn't do anything to help them. Uh, put them in a brace, hope for the best, whatever. But surgeries have come so much um, ahead of time now uh, that uh, y'all are actually using robotics. How do you diagnose someone to find out whether they, you know, need just simple something simple or whether it's going to take some robotic surgery? Well, the robotic surgery makes the procedure more facile. It's not going to really change the way we diagnose spinal problems. We're still relying on the same proven methods of MRI, physical examination, diagnostic tests. Once we determine what surgery they need, then we determine whether or not the robot can be an adjunct to surgery, but the robot does not take the place of the surgeon. It merely serves to make the surgery more facile. Kind of extends his hand, so to speak. Uh, and it, really, the advantage of the robot is it's going to decrease the amount of blood loss during surgery. Mm -hmm. It will decrease the operative time. It makes it more simple to put the screws in and actually with a higher degree of certainty that you've actually placed the screws into the proper location. But at the end of the day, it's still my hands putting in the screw. It's oh, still sure. the surgeon doing the surgery. The robot just makes it faster and more certain. I mean, it, and if it, if it wasn't for the doctors, I mean, because you're going to be right there, like you said, putting the screws in. I mean, you, you'd think that, uh, okay, I'll, I'll program a computer. I'll walk out and let it do it itself. Yeah, but there's too much room for error in that. That doesn't happen. No. The way the robot actually works is you take either, the advantage of this new platform, by the way, it's robotic surgery has been out for some time. The first generation robotics was designed by a company called Mazor. And it's a, it's a very good system, but it tended to make the surgeries, in, in my experience, longer, more difficult. Actually added time to the operation itself. The new system that we're using is by Globus, and it's an Excelsius system, and it actually makes the surgery faster, which is the main reason we're now using it. But the, the robotics itself is only making us better at what we do. It mm -hmm. doesn't replace us. Oh, no. I'm not saying that it would ever replace you. But I'm just saying it does make it easier for you. And um, uh, as you said, it, you're, you're not as long as in, in the surgery room, I would, I would think. Correct. And the, to use the robot in the past, you had to always get a CT scan. Mm -hmm. And that was, that's a lot of radiation for the patient. And then the CT goes into the computer. The computer then helps you to find the pedicles. With this new system, you can still use a CT, but now more importantly, you can actually use just plain fluoroscopy, two images. Mm -hmm. And so we can do the same type of procedure with the robot with far less radiation to the patient. And also of equal importance, there's no radiation to the operating team, including myself. We used to stand in front of the x-ray beam as we're shooting the x-rays to know where the screws are going. Now, we take two pictures, everyone stands 10 feet away, and from those two pictures, the computer will then help us place all the screws, and we just take another two pictures at the end of the surgery and greatly decrease the amount of radiation patients receive. That's cool. Well, we're going to run over to Ocean Springs and check out exactly how this thing works and uh, talk to Dr. Burks about that. Dr. Graham, Excellent. pleasure talking to you. So we've made the run over here to Ocean Springs Hospital. This is the Globus Excelsius GPS system, the first robotic spinal surgery system in the state of Mississippi. Dr. Christopher Burke, how are you, sir? I'm doing well. Tell us about this wonderful uh, piece of equipment that you've got here. Sure, so the Globus Excelsius robot allows us to place screws in a very accurate um, way by pre-planning them. So we've taken most of the guesswork out of, or not the guesswork, but the, the thinking out of the surgical portion of the procedure and can go ahead and plan everything, the sizes of the screws we want, the trajectories we want. I need to know what my x-ray is gonna look like before I even come into the operating room. And that enables me to use this system to make smaller incisions and less blood loss and do surgery in a much more uh, less traumatic way to the patient. And I would imagine the recovery time is a lot faster too. It is faster, less narcotic use, less hospital stay and getting back to life faster. So basically this system, once you 
program it all in? It does it all pretty much by itself? No, the robot doesn't do anything <laughs> by itself. Um, the robot uh, just simply puts us in the position to do the work through this. This is what's called the end effector. It's the most important part of the uh, entire system. Mm -hmm. And when we're ready to go to a screw, unfortunately we don't have all of the right. access system on, but you know we can step on a little pad and it's gonna take us, basically put this arm right where we need to go to put the screw where we planned mm -hmm. based on this. And then we have a camera up here that sees this arm. Right. And it sees an array or some markers on the patient that we've put on. So they know, the camera knows where everything is in space in three dimensions. Mm -hmm. And then all of our instruments also have uh, sensors on them that allow us to know that we are going right where we need to go to put a screw in. And then That's now we can do screw. everything through this. This is just the tap that oh, okay. plays the hole for the screw. <laughs> and then we can put a real screw a little bigger than this even. Okay, okay. So, and that basically holds it all together. Yeah, the arm is very rigid. It doesn't allow for a lot of toggle or transitioning off plane. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, by hand instruments, we're sometimes having to apply quite a bit of force to well, get it to Well, we've seen the DaVinci unit mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and how that robotic system has worked and everything. But this is geared directly towards back surgery. Absolutely. Spinal this can surgery. be used actually from the neck down. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of applications that are going to be continuing to come out um, that will just go on top of this system right. for um, allowing us to do even more complicated um, portions of the procedure um, under navigation and guidance for increased safety. That's cool. So I guess someone needs to find out, it wants to find out if they need back surgery. They need to go to their general practitioner get recommended to, uh, to uh, a, a back doctor, spinal right. doctor, specialist, um, you know, orthopedic doctor, uh, I guess, like, you know, they, we met with the Dr. Graham uh, just earlier um, over at Bienville in Biloxi, and uh, just to decide exactly to what extent you're going to need some back surgery. Sure. The robot isn't necessary to be used for everyone, and not everyone's necessarily a candidate for it, but for certain procedures, it can certainly make the length of the procedure better. It mm -hmm. can make the size of the incision smaller and make really the safety of the procedure better as well. Well, it's amazing how far technology has come in the past several years in all different types of surgery. And you're finding that more and more of the robotic systems are coming out to assist you, to help you, as you said, make things a whole lot easier for you and, uh, and for the patient. Right, and with this system, the things that are coming out, the future is very bright and kind of amazing. All right, Dr. Burke, thank you so much for this thank you. information. Go online to Sing River Health System.